and welcome to this video and if you're new welcome to my channel today we are going to do swatches and review of a new lip paint metallic from l'oreal and of course their eye paint so if you want to see that please keep on watching okay now l'oreal came out with the new powder this is a uh, mineral mattifying powder and i did try it and review it on one of my videos and i really really like this powder it really minimizes my pores it sets nice over my foundation and concealer i love this powder i don't love the packaging i think the packaging is very strange and not necessary and i don't really know why there is such little product in here you get 10 grams and if i compare it with my powder that i love from makeup revolution this is how much is this I think this is yeah 35 grams and the powder that I also love is Aerospun this is very messy but it's 65 grams so this is uh, 10 grams it's fine milled translucent I love how this sets over my makeup it says here an ultra fine translucent powder to mattify the skin and set makeup soft and non-drying this formula is enriched with mineral silica powder universal shade and i really really like this powder but i hate the packaging i'm going to continue using it and of course i'm going to buy it again when it's when i finish this package because i really like this powder now they also l'oreal also releases just before the christmas these three lip paints metallic this is in shade 305 cute but psycho and also this gold lolita lolita 306 and also the third 309 pixie so i'm going to swatch them on my hand first this is pixie this is a very nice beautiful shade kind of pinkish like this neutral shade and th this is like red brick orangey cute by cute but psycho and i really really like this shade very nice and also the third shade this is more goldish shade like gold lolita this is three shade that l'oreal released and i did try them i wore this on new year's eve and it felt a little bit first it felt a little bit dry but it, it's very thin formula so it felt a little bit dry but i after maybe one hour i didn't even felt it on my lips and it stayed on for quite long time that night i did reply it a couple of times that night of course it's new year's eve i want to i wanted to look perfect but it's a nice perfect shade beautiful it's nice beautiful shade I had this gold this goldish one lolita i'm going to swatch them on my lips too of course so you can see them but before i do that i actually want to show you the eye paint and i had this goldish shade this is number 401 rude boy rude boy i had this also on my eyelids for the um, new year's eve and this is a very very nice shade now it's not as metallic as the um, stila one stilas but believe me these all were the price because they are beautiful and they did stay on on my eyelids for the whole night i was very impressed this shade is also beautiful this is 404 man down this is like grayish silver shade beautiful very nice this is more like darker gray and then we have a silver shade this is 403 diamonds and this is the most metallic one if you can see this is the like the most metallic one of all three shades and i only found three all only three shades three shades of lipstick and three shades of uh, eye uh, paints 
and I really really like this one, this silvery one. It's very loud. And they also released this eyeliner. Uh, this is uh, what is called gold eyeliner. I did a New Year's Eve makeup look. It was like gold theme. So I did have this gold lipstick and this gold eyeshadow. And I think I had like um, brown eyeshadow in my crease. And I did use this gold eyeliner. Now I have to say it's a beautiful eyeliner. It is gold. I don't know if you can see on camera. I'm going to zoom in so you can see better. And it went on smooth, but I did have to go over a couple of times just to make it more pigmented, if I have to say. But I really like this applicator, this brush. It worked fine. I did succeed to create a nice wing liner and it looked good the whole night. It did stay on for many hours this eyeliner i was very impressed so i really really like this shade this gold shade eyeliner i'm going to zoom in so you can see the shades better so as you can see it's not as pigmented maybe as the i would like it to but it works fine and uh, it's easy to go over it a couple of times but these are so nice look this one is very pig pigmented so now you're closer to me because I want to apply a couple of these products on my on my face. But uh, as you can see, my foundation is not perfect. It worn off and I look very tired. I did place a little bit of a new eyeshadow. I did remove the old one and I placed a little bit more shadows in my crease. So when I swatch and do the makeup using these, so it will look okay. Now. It's almost 10 o'clock at the evening and I do refilm this video. I already filmed it over a month ago, but I can't find any footage of that. That And <laughs> I'm a little bit sad because I did an amazing job with that those swatches. So I hope this video will be will look good. I can't find that footage and I have to do the video again because I really like the product and I want you guys to know if you see them in the stores and you're kind of wondering is it worth buying it is it really is if you like metallic lipsticks metallic lipsticks they are very fine they do last a long time on the lips they are thin but a little bit drying like every metallic lipstick i tried but let's place this on the eyes i kind of want to use all three shades on mine so you can see how they work so i want to use this one this is shade diamonds First, and you have to kind of do the same thing as you do with the uh, stilas if you try those. Uh, don't close your eyes immediately, let this dry a little bit, uh, especially if you have hooded eyes as I do. This applicator is very nice. Look how pigmented this is. And the good thing is that you can go over these again and they won't look strange and clump together so I can't feel this being wet as the Stila are so I can't feel the dry but they dry, dry down very fast I will leave these on for 10 to 12 seconds so I'm going to take this other shade this is man down and place that the rest of my eyelid I know this makeup look looks very strange, but for the purpose of this video, I want to really show you how this product look on the eyes. That's why I do this makeup look. Now I'm going to place this gold one. This is Rude Boy on the lower lash line. Guys, these are very pigmented, so you don't need a lot of the product. They're very creamy. They dry down very fast and I kind of really like this. I really, really like this. Now, uh, I'm going to use the eyeliner and try to do like a wing. <laughs> it won't be, look perfect, but let's do it. I need to look closer in my mirror.
so I don't know if you can see but I did have to go over the my eyeliner a couple of time, times to get this eyeliner that this intense but it kind of looks nice um, and sorry guys for the rest of my makeup I know I look like a mess right now but I really want to do this video so I'm going to swatch the lipsticks on my lips and I'm going to start with this shade this is pixie Okay, this is Pixie, and it dries down very fast. Uh, feels a little bit sticky in the beginning until it dries, then it uh, kind of disappears, the stickiness disappears. Like I said, it's a very thin lipstick, but it's a little bit drying like every metallic lipstick that I've tried. I kind of like this shade. I have to take more, before I continue swatching, I have to take more of this superhero mascara that I got from my friend Valerie. I really like this mascara and I use it all the time. I wanted my eyelashes to pop out a little bit more. I kind of looked very strange with this bright <laughs> eyeshadow. Now I kind of like this lipstick, feels very light on the lips. Let's watch the other shade. Then I'm going to take this gold shade. This is Lolita, the one that I had on during the New Year's Eve. So this one is uh, not so pigmented as maybe you think when you saw, see it in the packaging. And I, I really don't like the smell of these. No, it smells like paint. And I had to just say though, my lips are a little bit dry right now. So when I apply this, it kind of gives me that tickly, a little bit of comfortable feeling, but it disappears when it dries. So it's probably something that in here that kind of irritates my lips, dry lips today, but right now I don't feel that anymore. So this is Lolita. And the last shade here is Cute But Psycho, number 305. Beautiful shade. And the other thing with these, they are a little bit patchy. So you have to kind of wait it until it dries and then take another layer over the first one. And they it lays nice. Every, all three shades need two layers maybe to get that perfect even application. Nice shade. I kind of look crazy right now. <laughs> they don't match and I'm too metallic looking today and very shiny and very tired though but i really wanted to do this video i didn't want to hold this long in my draw and waiting for them uh, waiting for me to review them again i am just sad that the first video that i did kind of disappeared i don't know where it is on my computer and what happened but uh, here i am like i said trying to do this video again and i mean i'm very impressed with the pigmentation i'm very impressed with wear time. I'm very impressed how easy it is to apply these. An applicator is very nice. The shades are very nice. And uh, eyeliner, it's not the best, but I kind of like it. And you, yes, you do have to go over a couple of times to get it so intense as I did. But maybe if you just, if you don't wear these crazy metallic eyeshadows on the eyes, maybe you can uh, use this with a more natural makeup look i will definitely try that don't forget to to shake it before you use it that was everything i had for you today please give a thumbs up if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and see you in my next video bye